Welcome to day three of the five minute de stress watercolor play date with uh, Leah Montani and myself, Jennifer Saunders. Uh, so, this little activity, we're going to call it an activity, experiment with, with watercolor, um, came about because Leah wanted to try something new and I agreed to be her guinea pig. <laughs> And and Jen wanted to experiment with watercolors, but she's never had um, the opportunity or taken the opportunity to do that. I, so, yes, because I've had plenty of opportunity. opportunity to do so. Uh, mm -hmm. And those areas where I still have perfectionism want to rear its ugly head, which this would be one of those areas, um, I allowed it to stop me from even purchasing paints or paintbrushes and giving anything a try. So. Uh, I agreed to be a part of this experiment and try my hand at something new and do my best to just embrace any perfectionism that comes up and to really maybe even create from that space and hopefully see some really awesome stuff come from it. And on day three, I can tell you that day one was a little bit uh, like I felt a lot of things. We only did bricks. And I felt a lot of things. Uh, yesterday was was more comfy for me. I felt a little more at ease. We we did paint droplets and then blew them around with a straw. And that was actually kind of fun because I had no idea or no expectation what it was going to look like. So that was probably easier on my brain. I have absolutely no idea what's coming today. And not going to lie, I feel a little bit of like, uh, what's <laughs> what's she gonna ask me to do today? But I feel I feel actually pretty peaceful about it, knowing that I have you with me, and that you you got me, I got you. We're gonna do this together, and um, we're gonna celebrate each other. We're probably gonna laugh a little bit with each other, and I just want to say thank you for being here. I know there's a lot of places you could be, and just thanks for joining us. And pass it along to a friend or someone else you think would benefit from just uh, just taking a few minutes to hopefully relax a little, <laughs> let, let yeah. go of some judgments and um, learn something new. Try your hand at, at something different. And if you haven't already and you're watching us from YouTube or from LinkedIn, Head on over to Facebook, the Righteous Rebels Facebook page or Facebook group. Lee, we should have them go in the group, right? Mm -hmm. the group. Facebook group. Yeah. Ask to join. And you're going to get a lot of good stuff inside of there. We're not going to talk about what the group is today because we're focusing on the five-minute de-stress activity. So head on over. Ask to join. We'd, we'll welcome you with open arms. With that, <laughs> Leah, are you on this side of me, Leah, or this side? I uh, No, the other one. Yeah, I'm on that side. That's so weird because you're on this side, side for me. Yeah, weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Leah, what, what do you got in store for us today? All right, so again, if you're just joining us for the first time, you need watercolor paper. Um, normal paper, or paper <laughs> will only leak through and make holes. Uh, you need a paintbrush, any paintbrush that you can find, your kid stuff, whatever, um, and some watercolors. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can be small, whatever, one color even. Um, today we're gonna play around with some saturation. So we're gonna try and just stick to maybe three colors and just play with, um, and what I mean by saturation is how, you know, like if you want a lighter color, say of orange, you're gonna add some more water to that orange. And if you want it darker, you use less water, but let's let's dive in and play with that. and. We'll just see. So pick one color. Okay, you're at 418. Just saying. Get out. I just started talking. No, that's the time so we're starting. The paintbrush that's goes the on the paper. Starting. Jen, that's not fair. Okay. Go. You're oh, just don't even. I'm having camera issues right now. Just one second. Okay, can you see my paper? Ah, see so the edge of your computer. That's amazing. So yesterday, there you go. There you go. Um, and today it's like, hey, we don't want to work for you. Okay, this is not the best, but it's going to work because we're going to make it work. Okay, 
Um, we're just gonna we're gonna pick a shape today. Jen, what shape would you like to do today? Oh, it's February. Let's do hearts. Okay, let's do hearts. So we're just gonna go in with some water, get some on your paper, and then just make a heart. However that heart presents itself, do your heart. And just stick with one color for now. This is not my favorite brush for hearts, but that's okay. Um, I really like how you talked about the piece about judgment and how often we judge what it's supposed to look like um, before we even start it or uh, we base it on our previous experiences when we haven't really given ourselves a chance to just be in the process and see what presents itself. So here in my second heart, I just, it looks kind of floppy in the camera, um, but I just put some more water instead of dipping into my color to get a different level of saturation. I just dip some water and use whatever was left on my brush. And now my heart looks more like a bubble, which is amazing. So we're gonna have bubble hearts. Oh, balloon hearts. We can do balloon hearts. How fun there is that? Go. And then I'm going to dip it again and see what kind of color I have left on my brush. And Dipping it in your water? Yeah. I make a really light colored heart. Again, if you're using watercolor paper, you're going to have a rough side and a smooth side. You want the rough side up. If you're just getting started, I don't know if you can even, if you can just see kind of water in my heart. Um, what I like to do when that happens is I'll take just a little bit of color and I'll just do around the edges and let the water move the color into the rest of the heart. See how it kind of balloons out? So we're gonna do it like that for this one. This okay, that piece me. does give me a little, I'm not gonna lie, gives me a little bit of stress, but we're going for it. That's okay. This is all about process, not product. If you end up with something that you like, that's bonus. And what wow. the cool thing is, if you keep doing it, you're going to end up with stuff you like because you're going to learn skills along the way. You're going to learn how to hold your brush and how to make your brush do most of the work. You're going to learn how the water, watercolors is a tricky one because it does not like to be controlled. It just likes to do its own Why thing. Why did you laugh when you said that? Because I I used to get really frustrated with watercolors and I stayed away from it for a long time um, because it wouldn't do what I expected it to do. And I'd get these balloons or muddy colors and I was just so focused on Ooh. wanting it to look a certain way and got frustrated when it didn't. And um, when I stopped doing that and just let go, um, I learned so much more about myself and just how to let go and let it just be what it needed to be. So as much as I, this is letting go and being okay with it has been very much a practice, not inherent for me. And I think that's why I find it so relaxing. Um, I was having some challenges with my nine-year-old and ha getting him to do his chores. <laughs> um, I was feeling kind of king tankerous about it. And I just, I feel it just kind of melting away as I just get in the moment doing these little hearts. How's it going for you, Jen? Um, you know, pretty good. I, I was like, wow, I just got some, some cool shapes and so, like lines that came through and I felt myself actually get excited. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. I actually, I'm like, how do I feel? Oh, that, see, there's some cool things happening right now. I should like move over. So I'm in the camera. Um, Tell me about it. Well, like the original outline that I created on a couple of these hearts, when I touch them again with the brush and the they actually create a, more of like a defined a defined line. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kind of cool. 
Yeah. You can also go in with, with no water and just kind of do like a dry brush. And you do have some more control that way. Um, there's less water to have to try and manage. <laughs> But I think that's what I love about watercolors, too, is just the softness of it. Okay, you're you're at your five minute mark, but um, where are you going to go from here? Where am I going to go? I think I just stuck it to um, one color today. I, I really like this <laughs> red. And I just want to invite you to take some time um, for you this, you know, in the next few days or whenever you can find some time to really just allow yourself the space to play, allow yourself the space to just feel at first uncomfortable. But I mean, this is day three for you, Jen. Is it is it getting a little less uncomfortable? Um, I, I, I do have to say yes. And I think partly it's because we started we started small, you know, we started without a lot of, um, we really just dropped the expectations and just let it be an experiment. So yes, again, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm, I will leave the activity. Um, I'm like, what's the feel like, it, like wanting more. It's like a good run when you've gone on a good run and you end and there's still something in the tank and it leaves mm -hmm. you want to do more. That's how it's how I feel a little bit. And that's, that's a really great feeling. Cause it, for me, it says, I, I have, I've taken that perfectionism piece that wants to scream really loudly and just given it a seat at the table, but not necessarily a voice of control and just well, allowing it to be okay. That's that was amazing. pretty good. Yeah. I mean, and then you have some space to experiment because it, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's more, what are you gaining in the process? I mean, I'll share a story real quick. There was this little boy I used to watch and we were playing with clay and he made this beautiful detailed um, ladybug and he, it was like amazing. And as his caregiver, I was super excited to show it to his mom and we were going to paint it and, and all this stuff. And I went to tend to some other kids, came back to him and he had demolished it. And I was like, what did you do? And he was just so in the process. It didn't, it didn't matter. And I, I remember that so much just because it was a lesson to me of, it's more about the process. What are you getting out of it versus what do you have to show? And I think that just can apply in, in our everyday. Like it's that whole thing of you're enough. You don't need to, to show for it to prove that you're enough. You are enough. I love that. Um, so why, why are we sharing stories? I have a family member who recently started watercoloring probably around i don't know maybe around thanksgiving time and uh this is someone who's close to me and and she's getting to experience some tough things right now and and some some of those things are you know possible medical concerns you got a lot of a lot of other things going on and i know that she recently went to the doctor and she learned that part of the reason she could be feeling what she's feeling is is maybe due to stress and um, a family member that had went with her. She's like, how the person was like, how do I, how do I like lessen my stress? And the family member was like, keep painting. Yeah. But that actually makes me emotional because I can feel as I, as I start to let go and just allow the process to happen, I can see how, that could be a helpful thing and and that that was the answer that was given to her was such a beautiful almost calming like just do the simple thing yeah. do the simple thing just keep painting so that's going to be my my words to myself <laughs> mm. 
letting go of, of the perfectionism piece of this and and to you who are doing this with us is just keep painting. Yes. And I, I love how less squirmy you are too, Jen. That first day, yeah. I didn't know if you were going to get through it. <laughs> you were pretty oh, squirmy. <laughs> I, I felt pretty squirmy. But, uh, you know, when you got a good teacher and someone you trust, it's a lot easier to be vulnerable. So for those of you out there, uh, participating today, we are way over our five minutes. Yes. We're, we're going to end this, but we're just going to say thank you. Uh, and we followed our own advice today and we just kept painting. Look, here's what I came up with. Oh. Ah, very cool. I love it. Yeah, huh? very so, cool. Uh, yeah, go ahead and keep painting. painting go ahead, Leah, take us out. <laughs> Thank you so much for painting with us today. And then we hope we find it helpful. If there's something you'd like to see or a topic you want to cover or something you want to learn how to paint. I've been painting probably about 10 years now. So I know a few things and I'm happy to share that um, with our community and share some skills, share some conversations um, and just let this be a process where we can learn and grow together. Um, me and what, is going to be helpful to you and, and you in, in ways of letting go and focusing more on the process, because I so believe that we are all creative and we just need the space to try. So with that, be bold. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold that thought for just a second. Okay. The word she's going to say, I just, I just want to say, you know, if you're ready to jump into some, to some bigger things other than just painting, we have bigger things. We have bigger things in store for you. Um, if, you if you're a, a female leader, and that's a loose sense because we believe everyone's a leader, whether you're leading a family, a classroom, a corporation, uh, we've got two big events, one coming up in June and another big one in August. Reach out. Reach out. We have some amazing, amazing things in store for you. Uh, painting might just be a part of it, but oh my gosh, there's so much more. There's so much more, and we'd love to have you come be a part of it. And with that, we're just going to say, be bold, be brave, be brave and be a rebel. Be a rebel. We'll see you soon. <laughs>